as we all know that JVM warm up and performance unpredictability have been uh, plaguing uh, enterprises. I mean, Java has been used for years, but it has its own reputation as well. We all know that. Uh, how does Ready Now and Cloud Native Compiler address this in modern environments where you are? I mean, CI CD, you're constantly, you know, scaling containers and managing elastic workloads. So you have to be nimble there. The compilation, the JIT compilation or the optimization process by which you go from this very slow code that can run on any machine to very fast code that's running on this specific machine. This comes from the 90s. Yeah, this is from back before we had a cloud, back before we had like multiple servers and so forth. Right. And really, like I said, it needs to it needs to actually run the code each time to figure out what needs to be what needs to be optimized it's like if you remember that movie memento where the where the guy didn't have any kind of memory and every 5 minutes he had to look around and go oh what am i doing java's like that right it's like it wakes up and it goes what am i doing oh i'm running this thing kafka ah never heard of it i guess i'll have to figure out how to optimize it but You've run Kafka a thousand times. You probably have a hundred other JVMs right now that are running that code. Why can't these JVMs just share? Why can't you just have a central place that knows exactly how you run Kafka, knows exactly what optimizations you need for Kafka, and can serve those up immediately because it already has those optimizations because somebody did it beforehand. That's how we're tackling that Java warm-up problem, and it's very, very successful. And again, Unlike a lot of other solutions only work on certain JDKs or they don't support the entire uh, Java spec. So you, you have to try and re rewrite your code in order to get working with them. This is from JDK onwards, no code changes, just plug it in and it goes. I love the analogy of the movie that you gave. Uh, that was excellent. Thank you. Uh, now, the fact is a lot of enterprises, they are already you know, standardized on Open JDK or other uh, Java runtimes. Uh, what kind of challenges or seamless adoption path is there for them to move to Azure Platform Prime? Uh, how do you handle the migration at that scale, especially in production environment, without adding more headaches to the teams? So one thing that you hear is, is I've got you know, I've got 500 apps. I can't run a tuning exercise on each app. I don't run a migration pattern on each app. I can't do this, right? So what we do is we come in, we've got the world's foremost Java experts on Java performance here. And what we do is we come in and what we do is we, we build one optimization profile that is going to work over your entire your entire uh, estate, right? And so Java performance is infamously tricky, right? Um, some things are I/O bound, and you can speed up the JVM as much as you want, but the bottleneck's in the network layer, so you, you're not going to actually get get better performance on it. So our our goal is to give a performance that on average is going to deliver that 20% across all of your applications. So you don't have to do a different tuning exercise for each one. Like I said, there are no code changes. There is no recompilation. It's just a matter of <clears throat> finding those different JVM tunings, right? And, and putting them in. And actually, one of the things that in the past we used to tune the most, the thing that would cause us the most problem was this JIT performance, right? Because, um, Getting those faster compilations, right, um, was was difficult to do that on some of these smaller machines that didn't have as much CPU to do that do that performance. And what we found is by just putting in this this exporting that all out to an to an external service, that the service takes care of all of that. And now it's really a cinch to to get these apps migrated over because we're not having to try and balance all those CPU resources and so forth between doing the optimization and running your code. We just shoot it all off to Optub. Optub does it, returns the, uh, returns the optimized code, and off to the races.